It's responsible for great things like beer. But yeast, the tiny organism responsible for making that tasty brew, can cause huge health problems. At the University of Toronto, scientists have taken a long, hard look at yeast, and they've learned why it can become so nasty. Dr. Charles Boone and his team looked at the genetic changes that occur when harmless yeast that looks like this transforms into the disease-causing variety that looks like this, so-called filamentous yeast because of the skinny shape. The research is published in this week's edition of the journal Science. One of the uh, fundamental lifestyles of papajack yeast is it can switch from a, a single cell budding yeast form to a filamentous form. And that switch, that transition is required for pathogenicity. To understand how that switch works, Boone's team used robots to decode the genetic information contained in yeast. They found several key genes that are responsible for the change. That process is being studied by Dr. Boone's colleague, Dr. Leah Cowan. That's because pinpointing the genes underlying the change from one form of yeast to another is the key to understanding many diseases. It can cause yeast infections, which can be very uncomfortable uh, for many people of all walks of life. Um, it can also cause much more serious conditions in immunocompromised individuals. So for example, people with HIV infection, about 90% of such people will have very, very serious oral infections. Now that the researchers here have learned which genes are responsible, the hunt can begin for drugs that will control them and the diseases they cause. It's going to take several years to many years to put all the information together, but uh, we now have a sort of a global snapshot of the genes that are involved in this process. That's when the millions of people around the world who suffer from microbial infections can start breathing a little easier. Paul Tadich, Global News, Toronto.